What we do right now is we treat uh, all heart disease the same uh, without real appreciation for sex-based differences. And if the biology is different, then maybe some of the treatments should be different as well. So the purpose of our study was to investigate why heart disease is so different between men and women. Men are more likely to develop plaque buildup in the arteries of the heart, where women are actually more likely to develop plaque buildup in the arteries in the leg. And women uh, have higher stroke rates than men. So lots of important differences in the way heart disease presents, but we know very little about the biology of that other than differences in sex hormones. So what we did is we measured 30 different markers in the bloodstream, proteins that are released under certain biological conditions, and we categorize them into lipids, the things that many of you are familiar with, the cholesterol metabolites, markers of inflammation in various uh, components of the body, and we had multiple different inflammation markers, markers of heart injury or stress, and then markers of kidney dysfunction. And various of these markers differed in women and men. And that has important implications because the, the levels that we use to diagnose a heart attack or heart failure in clinical medicine are exactly the same for men and women, but our study suggests that perhaps we should be using sex-specific levels of these markers to try to better characterize which women have heart attacks and heart failure. What we really hope is that it will stimulate additional research so that we can start to identify the biology of what's different between men and women with heart disease that then could lead to specific treatments to prevent heart disease in women.